It is a twice crochet day today. Twice has some of the coolest knit and crochet items. So I'm so excited for this. I don't really know the group that well yet, yet. I've seen a bunch of clips of them and they seem super funny. So I, I do plan on watching them. And I was gonna like figure out their names and all for this. Cause I only know like Nyan cause my skills, but I did it because time. But I could always watch some videos whilst making these things. Though TXT is having a comeback right now, so um, please understand if I don't. Forgive me. <laughs> Literally all I want to watch right now. First up is this shirt that this very lovely lady <laughs> is wearing. I don't know who this is. Was I? But every time I see this, I'm like, gotta freaking make that. So I zoomed in. It's not very high quality, so I didn't get to see much, but I I figured out the square. I know the square is ugly. I didn't have the colors at the time because I was home and I only had a select amount of yarn, but guess what? I had like every single color. I didn't even have to buy anything. I mean, this white is lighter than her white because she has like a creamier color in here and then the lighter white. Tis whatever, still looks good. I have made seven of these. We need eight, hopefully. So I have not double checked that. So I will make my last square with you. So if we zoom in, we can see See that we can't see much, but don't worry. Don't worry. I figured it out, I think. We're starting with this little circle here. I did 16 double crochet in a magic ring. I am using a 3.75 millimeter hook and wait for a yarn. Though this yarn, most of my yarn that I use is on the thinner side. This is thinner, this is thinner, and then yeah, that's the same one. These guys would be more closer to the, I don't know, value yarn thickness, because that's what they are. Next step is this little gold piece. When I'm gonna be doing a double crochet right away and I'm attaching on a new color in the granny square, I learned this really cool method a few months ago where you yarn over and then grab your piece. It's a little awkward, at first, but once you get the hang of it, it's super easy. And then you stick that in just like you're, well, you are crocheting a double crochet. Ta-da. Now for this round, we will be doing, I'm gonna get rid of this because it's confusing my focus. We're gonna be doing double crochet, chain, and then double crochet. And that's gonna be all the way around because this does give a little bit of a like, I don't know, a smaller pillory look to me, like more standalone kind of thing, if that makes sense, I don't know. I originally did a triple crochet, but my square ended up looking a bit big, so I thought the smaller the better. And also, if you don't do the chain, then it gets very tight and starts curving in a lot on itself. You should end up with 16 again, and then at the end of every round, we are slip stitching, and if we're changing color, fastening off. I think I just realized that I did all my squares wrong, because I was doing like the granny stitch, but instead of three double crochets, I just did two, which is what it looks like, but it looks Looks like this first round of white is with the three stitches, not two. And I couldn't really figure this out because it did look different. It looks like it's like kind of twisted instead of just like two rows of stitches like this. But maybe that's what makes it look like that. Cause doesn't that look like three in the first row and then two in the second row? But it also kind of looks like the two are into the, I don't know. For simplicity's sake, if you want it to look like it, but you don't want to do extra work, I guess this is fine. I'm sorry. I'm confuzzled now. Anyway, for what I did is you can now just go in between these stitches. You don't have to go into actual stitches. We're just going in the spaces here. And we're gonna do two double crochets in every single space for this first white round. I actually did three double crochet in every space just to try it out because this is my last one, I may as well. But as I said before, I did originally do two in each space for this first row. Now we obviously don't have to fasten off because we have one more row of white. So I'm just gonna chain a couple times and then now we are going to do just two in every space. But this is the row that we're creating corners. So you're gonna do, I'm gonna make this one a corner, so ignore this one. We're gonna do three little two crochet clusters. And then the fourth one, we're gonna do our corner. So you do two double crochet, then chain two, and then another two double crochet in this same space to make the corner. See, very cornery. And then we do that again. So cluster, 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 corner. So it does get kind of like more floppy when you do it this way, obviously, because you have so much more increasing 
in this three stitch thing. So I don't know if I like it. Plus I'm running out of yarn, so I don't know why I did that anyway, but at least now you have options to do what you will. I don't know if this looks more like it. Whatever you feel. <laughs> it kind of spreads out these a bit much too. I don't know. Now we're doing our blues and our blues look like two stitches in each. So we're just gonna do the exact same thing we did with the white. Gonna make our corners in the corners, but obviously we have more spaces in between now. So it'll be two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet in the corner. And then we're just gonna do two double crochets clusters in each of these and then another corner and so on and so forth. These are my two rows of blue. And I'm gonna say now that I definitely do not recommend doing the three double crochets in the first white row because it's still kind of wonky. I guess when you pull it all out, it's fine. I don't know. Maybe if you block things, I don't want to block it. Next round is this whatever color that is. I had a color similar and it's less, right? It's less. So I'm doing the exact same thing, but instead of double crochet, we're using single crochet. So in each of these spaces, we're gonna be doing two single crochet. And then the corner is the same, two single crochet, two chain, two single crochet in the same space there. It's all coming together, it looks so nice. Now we have our one last row, which is just the exact same as these guys. We're gonna be doing the white again. Back to double crochet, two in each space and then two, two chain, two again in the corners. Ta-da! And now that we have all eight pieces, we're gonna move on to the next project because I really don't like putting things together. You'd think that that would be my favorite part, you know, seeing everything come together, but it just, it feels like a lot of work. Not into it. Plus I'm running out of yarn and I have to use this to connect it all with like, I'm thinking a single crochet I'm gonna do. So I might run out and I'm pretty sure I have more of this somewhere, 50-50 chance, but I'm too lazy to find that because it is nighttime. It is 8 p.m. It is not yarn finding time. Also, I'm kind of sick of this project for today because these squares take like 40 minutes for me and I made the majority of them today. So no, thank you. Next is a sweater that was requested that one of you guys, you know who you are. You're welcome. Or sorry, cause I don't really know. It is knit obviously, but I think I'm gonna crochet it and I'm not sure if that's what you wanted. I'm sorry. But in order to knit it, I would have had to buy other needles, like a lot bigger needles than I have because even when I was doing Yanjun sweater, the needles weren't big enough to make it as holy. And then this one looks even more holy than Yanjun. So, but you did say that you only know how to crochet. So maybe this is better. I don't know. I don't know. So I decided to go for this. It's a double crochet. Pretty. Hello. No, I'm breaking it. Where's my hook? Using a pretty huge hook. This is a 10 millimeter hook, which is nice because it goes super fast. And yeah, I think this looks pretty. Obviously it's gonna be a bit more chunky. All crochet is more chunky. So there's that, but I think this will be good. And I thought it was red and black, but now I'm thinking it's navy. Does that look navy to you? It looks navy to me. I literally feel like I've made a bajillion of these kinds of shirts now. These really loose knit striped sweaters. But I mean, it's always a good time. They always go fast and they're easy because it's just a drop shoulder. So I think what I'm gonna do is measure from here to here because this is where it, I'm like bruising myself holy goodness that's not necessary because the drop of the shoulder comes down to here which means that our shirt has to be this wide again if I had someone to measure me for these that would be nice or if I became super flexible <laughs> I think I'm gonna go for go for an even 21. 21 is not an even number. I mean, not like point 21 or whatever. <laughs> Math is not my forte. We all know this. Maybe I should go for 20 because it will be pretty stretchy because it's so holy. Okay, we'll go for an even 20. So I will measure my little sample here that I've already ruined. I must say that it feels so satisfying to crochet with this humongous hook. It's nice. And it's a metal one, so it's nice and heavy too. My little piece here is four inches wide and we have eight. Oh, that makes it easy. Wait, this is gonna make me look stupid because this math should be easy. So if it's four inches and I have eight stitches, that means that each stitch is half an inch. Yes. 
I hope that's right. So if each stitch is half an inch and I need 20 inches, that means that I just need 40 stitches. Did I just do math without a calculator? Wow, this crochet thing is gonna turn me into a genius. I believe we're starting in red, but this is the only picture I have right now. So it might be a little more if it's like super long. I'm gonna have to check it out. Check it out. Oh my gosh, it's been a while. Okay, so it does start in black and it's actually way holier than even my little sample here. So I wish I had a bigger hook as well. I would say maybe like a 13 millimeter. And then you have to do less stitches and stuff. It'll take even less time. But this is what I have. I'm sure crochet hooks would be cheaper. I didn't want to buy the needles to knit this because it's so hard to find needles that are bigger than 10 millimeters. And then like on Amazon at least. And then when I do, they're like super expensive. Like I'm not paying $30 for one set of knitting needles. <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> Maybe when I'm making actual money, but not not today. So we're gonna start, or I guess I'm not using black, I'm using navy? Question mark? No, in this picture that I found, it definitely looks black, which is good because I don't think I have enough navy anyway. I would prefer to use a black black, but since this is the same weight as my red, like, I mean, they're both weight four, but they're on the thinner side for weight four yarn. I think this is a better off. I will do the back first because the back is easier because I believe, yeah, by the looks of it, it wouldn't have any shaping for the back of the neck. I think I'm also gonna actually get technical with the stripes as well, just because I want the length to be the right. And I also want the stripes to be in the same place. I've never done this before with stripes. I just kind of wing it. But yeah, the like that's important for this one, I feel like. It's almost a dress. Like it would come down to the upper thigh. So I'm gonna say, let me stand up straight. It's gonna be at least 24 inches. And the stripes are one, two, three, four, five, six. Is 24 divisible by six? Yes, it is right? <laughs> 24 divided by six is four. So I need each of my stripes to be four inches, which doesn't look long enough because I feel like her stripes are longer. Just a second. <sighs> you know what? I'm not going to be technical with this because that's bothering me. <laughs> I'll just do four or five inch stripes and hopefully that works. I'm so glad it was drop shoulder because Drop shoulder is literally just a bunch of rectangles. I made a rectangle for the back. I ended it with two rows of single crochet because as you can see in the photo, it's pretty... There's more there on the, on the shoulders. And there's also like more in the neckline. So it goes all the way across. And then I'm also currently finishing the front piece. The front piece is exactly the same as the back. The only thing I'm gonna do different is for my very, very last row, I'm going to do a little bit of shaping for the neck. Cause I feel like if you hold it like this, like there's your neck hole right there. You don't need much, I hope. <laughs> Otherwise I'm gonna choke myself. I have 37 stitches. Um, some got lost along Along the way on the first one so I just made the second one 37 <laughs> to match the front one the back it's fine I'm coming to terms with it so I'm going to figure out my middle one what is half of 27 30 50 what it's not 27 it's 37 that's harder math 18 okay so this is 19 so that should be the middle I'm going to is that right so we have 18 and 18 that's 36 yes don't doubt yourself. Now I need to make a neck line. I'm gonna make it six on either side. Is that gonna, whatever, or is that gonna be too much? I always end up making my neck too wide. I'm gonna go in one more on either side, just for fun. So I have my, what was it? 11 stitches marked in the middle. I'm going to single crochet. See, we already did the one single crochet. We're gonna do one more single crochet row. We're gonna get to there. We're gonna decrease these last two ones so that we get more of like a slanted circular neckline fasten off then come over to this side decrease and then go all the way across then I crocheted the top shoulders together so that I could see how far down my oh this neck hole looks tiny oh no my head fit interesting so I can see how far down the arm goes hopefully it drops down at least to here because otherwise it's not gonna look like the thing I just need to know how long to make the sleeves Ooh, it's chilly Oh, that, that was fine. It's giving Freddy. Oh, actually, I'm glad I didn't make that bigger because that is perfect. Perfection. Once I put the sleeve on, it'll probably weigh it down a bit more, but I think that's perfect. Is it perfect? Just a second. Okay, it's a bit on the smaller side. 
it's fine. I'm gonna make the sleeves now. More rectangles. Oh, also, oh yeah, the length is almost perfect too. Don't mind my mismatched pajam jams. Everything's working out because the sleeves have four stripes on them. And how many inches is each of my stripes? Four. What is four times four? 16. What is the length from here to here? 16. Everything is going so well right now. Let's try not to jinx it. Completely forgot to figure out how wide to make the sleeves. Just gonna use this as an example. Hmm, interesting. I have no idea. Cause it doesn't look baggy, but it also doesn't look tight. What am I supposed to do with that information? She's wearing a shirt underneath it. So I feel like as long as it's a little bit loose, like this maybe on my upper arm, then that should be fine. So I will use this. <laughs> count how many stitches that is. That is 24 stitches. Turns out it wasn't as perfect as I thought. <laughs> um, <laughs> and I was like, it's fine. I'll just add an extra row to the red, but I can't because the casting on is too tight. So then it'd be obvious, but I will add another row to the black. And though it won't do much, uh, I don't know. Hopefully it'll be enough. Why is it so short? Okay. <laughs> Today's the day. We're, fin we're finishing the shirts. This smells super weird. Interesting. I'm going to sew it this time because crocheting is easy when the stitches are lined up with other stitches. But you know, when it's like the side, it's kind of annoying crocheting through this kind of stuff. And lately I found out that sewing isn't that bad. I know, shocking. Laying it out this way, right side facing up. We're gonna do the bad side facing, bad side, I don't know. Wrong side facing down. Down. Gonna make sure the middle of this is in the middle of this. And I don't know why this is not the same. Hello? So like that for both arms. I don't know where my other arm is. <gasps> Ta-da. Now I shall sew it here, down here, 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 here. These are looking very thin. It's kind of scaring me a little bit. It's fine. Okay, I finished. I'm kind of nervous to try it on, but it must be done. I could literally just use this as my Halloween costume and be Freddy this year. Honestly, this shirt feels more hardcore. I don't really know why Twice is wearing it. Oh, it does not look long. We're gonna have to try our best to make it look good. So we gotta wear it the way that she wore it. Please, young god, please, please, please. <laughs> You're getting stuck in the halls. Oh, 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 oh. Oh my gosh, I am her. I am twice. It's not long enough, <laughs> like at all. Can I stretch it? <laughs> but the sleeves are fine. I think she wears it like this. Wow, I am impressed with myself. This could have been a bit bigger too. If you do a couple more rows of single crochet on either side, I recommend. The extra row of this, not necessary. The sleeves are pretty long, which is nice. I even used the same color yarn, like red yarn to sew this and black yarn to sew this so that the stitches wouldn't show through. Trey professional now. Back to the cool tassel shirt. So basically we're gonna be sewing them together like this or crocheting them together. You can just stitch them all together if you would like, it would be easier. But since it looks like it's connected with a bit more, like it looks like there's another row in there of something. So I started doing a single crochet row while attaching them and it looks very similar. So I'm gonna go with this. And all that is, if you remember, we were doing two stitches in every space, mostly double crochet, but we have this single crochet row. Well, we're doing another single crochet row. So we'll be single crocheting twice. See, we're putting these together like this. And then before moving on to the next space, we're going to go into our second square space, parallel space, the one that's just across from it, and slip stitching into that so that we're connecting along the way. See if I can pull it out here, you'll see where I've connected it every time. So you just continue that across. And once you get to the end, you can add on your next square here. So it has like pieces missing on either side. Simply by slip stitching into this first First one and then continuing on like normal. Okay, I was starting to get worried and confused there, but it's very simple. It's zigzag, 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 zigzag. This is my three, six, seven. I was also worried I was gonna have to make another square, but I don't because when you fold this over, wait, what? Yes, yeah, so you fold this, no, what? Hello? Okay, so you fold this like this. <laughs> 
fold this like this, and then we put the last square in here. Ta -da. So it's the exact same on both sides, which makes it simple. Ta -da. I guess I can check if this fits. I actually didn't do any measurements whatsoever, so this might be very big. But usually the projects look big, and then they go on, and then they're not, so we'll see. Oh no, it feels very big. You know what? That's all right. That's probably perfect. Look at me go. Since my yarn is still connected to somewhere, I'm going to single crochet all the way along the bottom to finish that off. And then we'll do the same for the top, but we'll have to chain a bunch for the straps as well and work around the straps. And I'm not using the same pattern here. I am just single crocheting in every single stitch, not in just the spaces. Also, I was running out of yarn. Then I found another digit ball of it somewhere. Happiness. Done. Looks very nice. Very finished. Now I'm going to connect on here, chain a bunch, and then connect that chain to the next triangle to make the strap. So I did that, but now I gotta try it on to make sure the strap is a size that makes sense. Look at it being perfect on the first try. Actually, it might be. Because <laughs> straps stretch, I think I will take off another five chain. Yes. I don't know if you noticed, but I'm watching Rotten Mango and I'm getting so depressed, but at the same time, I can't stop watching it. Now that I have the chain for the first strap, I'm gonna single crochet all around the armhole and into just the one side of this strap because we're gonna single crochet on one side and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna go around this side as well and then go up this side, chain again, and then single crochet around that and then single crochet around this side as well. Yeah. <laughs> Finito. I ended up only doing the single crochet around one side, like around the armhole side, because upon further inspection, the straps are about this thickness, so doing another row on them would make them too thick. And then also, I was finding more pictures and zooming into them, and it looks like there isn't another row here either. I mean, I might end up adding one anyway, just because it would look a little bit neater, slightly, I think. But first, I'm gonna do the tassels, because because as I said before, my yarn, at least the white yarn, is very limited and I kind of forgot that I need it. I kind of forgot that I need it for the tassels as well. So I'm just putting together all three colors, one strand each, double this length because this is folded over, and then somehow sticking it through a hole and tying it on there to make this faster because you're gonna have to cut a lot of strings. What I'm doing is, first of all, I analyzed the picture, decided that the square here is almost the same length as this tassel. So I measured my square, it's nine inches across. So I want my tassels to be nine inches each, which means my strands have to be 18 inches long because they're gonna be folded in half, which is nine. <laughs> Map. So what I've been doing, or what I just started doing, because I was gonna do them individually before I had this idea, because I guess my brain's a little slower than I thought. I am measuring out 18 inches, and then I'm just folding it, grabbing another piece, folding it, grabbing another piece, folding it, grabbing another piece, over and over, oh no, over again, until I get bored basically, because it's kind of boring, and plus I don't, I never, I didn't count how much I need, so who knows, and then, and you just cut this piece that's connected to the ball and then you connect or you connect you cut all these loops here like so so that this big long strand is now just a bunch of little strands you do the same on the other side and now you have a bunch of strands of each color so you grab one of each color make it all pretty hopefully not tangle up all your pieces here that looks so much shorter than the other ones you can always trim at the end you want super long tassels or you want to make sure that they're gonna be the same length as in the picture then I I would make it slightly longer because you can always trim it. I don't care if mine's shorter, so I'm just gonna go with the around nine inches because look, this is short. Just be more careful when you're measuring, basically. So we have this folded in half. We're gonna insert this and then insert the, oh, I'll show you. <laughs> I don't know yet how often I'm gonna be putting these because I don't know how like thick it'll get or whatever. So I'm just going to, for now, connect each of these where our little spaces are. Not in the space, we're still connecting it to the last row here, but just for simplicity's sake and because then I don't have to actually count anything, I can just see where the spaces are. It is kind of difficult to get it in these holes. I could try to come up with a way. Where did my strings go? I just put them all together. Where? Oh, they're literally right here. So it's difficult to put these 
through here. I'm not really sure if there's a better way. There probably is, but my brain's just not working right now because I'm too depressed because of freaking rotten mango, just whatever. So you just pull out through like that. Then you have a loop here and then it's just like one of those foam charm things. Just pull that through like there. And then you have like a little nap here. That's not what the photo looks like. I'm assuming some sort of method was used that allowed them to like stitch everything through at once and then cut them all. I don't really know what's going on there, but it does look pretty messy. So maybe mine will look better, we'll see. Okay, so it turns out it's every freaking stitch, which is crazy. It's gonna take so much yarn and so much time. And then I even tried to do every other stitch and see if that would work. And I mean, it'd be fine, but it's not, it's not the same. Oh, I'm only halfway and I think I've been doing this for two hours and I'm only doing it in every other stitch because every stitch just seemed like a lot and yeah it looks great with just every other stitch but oh my goodness and I did run out of the white yarn so now I am going to have to take apart whatever the heck this is I just made this when I was bored one day probably wouldn't have finished it anyway but look at this cool stitch <laughs> I forgot I did that anyway I also it's 6 p.m. so I should eat some dinner I basically skipped lunch yeah I literally ate some chips for lunch oh my goodness the freak. I'm so hungry and I just realized it. Oh. Also, I'm still watching Rotten Mango and I am now paranoid about everyone and everything. So that's great. I finished it last night and I'm like, oh my goodness. Like every time I look at this, I'm just like, wow, I made that. I did, I did this. It's like I reached into the picture and took it up. Other than the spaghetti, <laughs> spaghetti looking ramen noodle white strands that was from the other project. It'll straighten out, it's fine. This'll be the front. Or no, it has squiggly squiggles too. Whatever. <laughs> I did in fact run out of white yarn, but it was perfect for the tassels. I just wasn't able to go around here, but I'm gonna be buying more of that yarn for my Stray Kids. Yes, I'm doing a Stray Kids video. That's literally the most requested video of all time. A lot of stays out there. Beautiful. I am her, she is me. Definitely one of my favorite things I've made. I made a little mistake here. This needs to be a little bit like this and it will look even better once I finish off the edges here, which I shall probably do later <laughs> when I get the yarn. Now we are moving on to the next one, which is this beautiful oh, twice where is the coolest things and they all have different versions of it I picked this one because it looks super cute. It's in like a heart shape plus it's smaller than the other ones that I seen less work and although the pink is super cute and makes sense because it's like hearts and flowers and stuff I decided to do it in green because I just thought that would look so amazing and it already does look at this <sighs> I believe she has three different shades of pink, white, whatever. It might be four, but I see a light pink, a white, and a dark pink. So I've got a light green, a dark green, and a white. I've done my first little heart here, and it is a magic ring. Chain two, three triple crochet, three double crochet, chain one triple crochet, chain three double crochet, three triple crochet, two chain, slip stitch, pull all together. I <laughs> will link the tutorial that I used down below. It's the same one I used for the new jeans stuffy stuff. So I did that again with this one here. There is a bigger one right here. So that is gonna be this one. I just did the same thing for the center. And then honestly, I just won it. I just put like a chain and then like single crochet in this chain thing, so it was awkward. And then I did a bunch of double crochet increases until I got to the like straight part of the heart. And then I just did single crochets across non increase and then a double crochet in the little point here and then single crochets again double crochet increases again and then a couple of single crochets and then I slip stitched into this is a lot of talking oh my goodness I slip stitched into this like somewhere here and then I also slip stitched way down into the center again just so that it's more of an indent here kind of helped it look a bit better Whew. sorry that is a lot let's take a little break 
And then for the daisies, there's obviously gonna be different ones, but I think this is gonna be the main one. I just did a little six single crochet in a magic ring for the circle on the inside. And then for these, you can tell I was kind of experimenting a little before I found what worked, because these two are my first two and they look kind of ugly. But I then did two chain, two double crochet, two chain, slip stitch back in. So we do two chain to get up, two double crochet, two chain to slip back down. And then we do that over and over again. We're doing everything in the same stitch. Each petal is for one stitch. So I only have five petals because, I don't know, it got a little chunky. So I just kind of slip stitched into the last stitch because there wasn't really room for another petal. And the petals, I think all daisies are kind of made with five. Some of them also look like they don't have any centers in them. There's also like these little pink pearls and stuff. And I don't have pink pearls, but I do have pearls. Actually, I should go get them. Okay, well, I just got this box of pearls, I guess, loose in there. Maybe I shouldn't open it to show you. I'll show you later. <laughs> She's also wearing these super cute gloves that I may or may not make depending on if I have time. I don't know how long this is gonna take. But I mean, this didn't take long. I feel like the hardest thing is definitely going to be putting it all together. It's gonna be very, very confusing. Hoping for the best. I've been working on this for probably around two hours now and I thought I was like doing really well, making some great progress. And then I actually went and laid out all the things I made. I have some extras over here. So there's that in the like pattern that this is. And turns out I'm only done like this little area, which is like what, not even a fifth? of what I need to do, but it looks so freaking beautiful. And as you can see, I did a bunch of different sizes of daisies. The hearts are slightly different as well. I use different size hooks and then also the yarn's a bit different, so they're gonna be different sizes anyway. And then for the flowers, it's the same method. I will chain a couple, do some stitches, chain a couple down, slip stitch, and then slip stitch into the next stitch and then do it over and over for each petal. But I just use different stitches for everything. So like some are are triple, some are single, some are double. Anyway, I'm gonna take a break. Actually have lunch today. I am finally done. Oh my goodness, what time is it? 4.34, hello. If I look like I've been crying, <laughs> I am still freaking watching the stupid, uh, not stupid, it's really good, Rotten Mango and the last episode that I watched. I feel like, I feel sick. Like my head really hurts. I feel like I could throw up. I've been trying to watch to do like TXT's show to feel better, but like, I don't think there's any coming back from this. The rest of today is gone. Why does the world suck so much? Anyway, making this, yeah, would like took forever, but that was the easy part. That was, now we have to put it all together. How? And the thing is, I want to definitely have it all done by the time I go to bed because this is all laid out on my bed and laying it out took a long time too. <sighs> And it's confusing because like obviously my colors are different so like the different colors kind of like muddle up my it just it, it confuses me a little bit so it takes extra time to figure out where things go and obviously mine aren't gonna be the exact same size it's not gonna look exactly the same um which is fine as long as the general it looks like a, like a heart at the end but <sighs> I feel like it's gonna be stressful. Maybe I should take a break to prepare. I'm thinking, sorry, I'm crying again. That I, sh like, as I left long tails on every one of these things, thinking that I'll use it to sew it all together, but I really should have just connected them all with the one kind of thing instead of doing individually because the amount of threading the needle oh, I'm gonna have to do and weaving in ends is just. <laughs> I've been sewing everything together for two hours. Feels like it's been five. I am not even halfway done. Probably a third of the way done. I mean, it looks beautiful and it's kind of like doing a puzzle, which was fun for the first 10 minutes. But now, ah! and before you say anything, yes, there's holes in it, but there's supposed to be holes in it. She's wearing a white like bandeau thing underneath. Dayan is, I know names now. Just kidding. I just, I read that on the Pinterest post and I, I know that one of the members is called that, so. <sighs> Anyway, my back super hurts. I was wearing this to keep my hair out of my face because I was getting annoyed. It's almost my bedtime slash editing time. <sighs> but I have all these pieces that I don't want to move because they're all sort of in place, but I guess I'll just have to 
<laughs> I truly thought I would finish this today. On it, I gave myself two days to finish it, but I thought I would finish it today because I finished the pieces a lot earlier than I thought. But then putting it together is 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 so much fun. So much fun. My head still hurts too. So never cry. It's a lesson I learned today. I have done no more. It is the next day. It is 12 p.m. almost, and I cannot bring myself to do this. And all I want to watch is Rotten Mango videos, which is perfect because then it's like podcasty and I could be stitching, not having to pay attention, like look at anything. <sighs> but it's not, I shouldn't. I'm trying my best not to because it's not good for my mental health. I don't think I already had a good cry this morning and I wasn't even watching another video. It was from the video I watched yesterday still. Can't stop thinking about it. One of the first things I thought when I woke up this morning was, oh my gosh, I am literally like all those people who died would have been like the same age as me by now. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I keep trying to make myself be like, mm, let's think about when it's done though. It'll be so beautiful when it's done. And yeah, yeah, I know it will. It already looks beautiful. But the thing is, it, when I finish it, it's just going to be added to my pile. So what? <laughs> what's the point? This is why I should stop watching those videos. Life is pointless. Everything sucks. What's the point of anything? I have gotten better at sewing these together as I go. I don't know if you can tell, but these are more, you can tell they're hearts and flowers and they look beautiful and there's texture. This is more like flat, like all sewed together to the point where it's a bit harder to tell. Both are beautiful. Both have their pros and cons, I guess. But this is what I was wanting and what I was going for. To do that, all I do is I kind of do it from the other side and I'll just like take this and then I'll sew it. Not with the like actual stitches together. I'll sew it with these little ridgy bumps in the back wherever I can find them. These little guys here. Cause then if you leave the actual ridges of this, then it looks nicer on the other side. I think personally. I'm almost done. My back is dying, but morale is high-ish because I have, what? I only have five more pieces to sew on. Felt like this would be the rest of my life. I finished, or so I thought. I put everything together, right? Even started sewing in the ends because like, wow, I don't know. I was just feeling it. Plus there's like a bajillion, so it has to be done. I was kind of thinking this would be smaller than this side because I don't know, I feel like I made everything, but I guess things were supposed to be bigger on this side that I didn't make as big as it was supposed to be. So like, it's uneven. So I'm gonna have to make a few more things to cover up this side. Also, this was supposed to be the center little heart thing, but then it ended up being sideways. So then I just added on another little heart to make the point at the bottom instead of re-sewing it. So I'll have to do that. And then do these strappity straps. There's so, so many ends, but it looks so beautiful. Just this like little garden-y, oh wow. Wow. I'm gonna take a shower now. Oh my goodness. You see that? You see this? I sewed in every single strand and I did it properly because I like went through and like split strands. So there's no way any of that's coming out, hopefully, because I'm using a pointy needle. Tis a must. Ugh, my feet are cold. Now I'm gonna add some of the pearls, just like randomly, because I think that'll just, that'll just bring it, it's already up here, but this, the pearls will just bring it to like another level. My pajamas are matching this time. Oh my gosh, I feel so stupid. The one time, the one time I sew in all the ends and like I could have used the ends to sew these on while weaving it in. So now I'm just gonna have to add extra yarn and then also weave in those pieces again. <laughs> We are running behind, people. And I wasted the entire morning going to Michael's. So can you say it was a waste? Because I got a free tote bag. All I have left to do for this is, oh, I didn't show you the pearls. The pearls, honestly, I don't know. They're all right. You even see it. I only put them in a few. Oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. Now, she has like a almost cord-like straps. I'm just gonna do chains because I don't have that and or know how to make that all twisty nice looking thing. So yeah, I'm just going to attach make a bunch of chains individually so it can all be tied you need to wear something underneath this anyway there's holes in it so it's not a big deal if it's you know it's gonna be like bikini like ties it comes undone you're wearing something underneath it's fine so i'm gonna do it that way for this and that way two on the sides just like she had it's so pretty so I did a bunch of straps, two on either side, one in each of these, and then I have this tied because I kept having to try it on to see if these were in the right spots. So 
as you can see she has two here and well i don't really know how it is in the back i didn't actually bother looking for you know that if i could even find it but it looks beautiful i am now going to weave in these ends because i have woven in everything so far i don't want to stop now and also this is just gonna reinforce because each of these chains i only connected them with like a single stitch i'm kind of scared that that's gonna pull a little bit and not be as strong so this will reinforce it once i sew these in the moment is now people i can't tie this myself oh no i can't if I tie them both together like this, it's good. <laughs> This is so cute. I think it's a bit smaller than hers. <laughs> I am so proud of this. This is beautiful. This is... <laughs> now I'm gonna make the candy bong, like the original candy bong, cause that's super cute. And I wasn't going to originally when I planned this video, but then someone commented and wanted me to do that. So I was like, well, I'm making a twice video anyway, so why not? But I'm not really sure how to do this. <laughs> there's swirls in the plastic and then there's swirls behind the plastic. So so I'm just gonna try out what I think might look okay in my head and if it doesn't, it is what it is. I mean, <laughs> I'm already really behind. I mean, I'm my own boss, so I guess it's whatever, but I'm a pretty strict boss, so. We're starting with six single crochet in a magic ring and then the second row increase in every stitch row. And then I'm gonna start doing the single crochet no increase from here, but we're gonna be increasing, I'm thinking like once every other row maybe, cause the light stick does get gradually wider as it gets to the, you know what I'm saying. I decided I'm gonna make this small. So this is gonna be the entirety of the white part I actually oh, sorry I'm digesting I increase like every third row just once a row every third row and if you want to make it longer do more non-increase rows in between your increase rows but I'm gonna do it like this and then I have the light gray which I got from Michael's today oh wow this is soft Ooh. anyway I'm gonna start the gray on an increase round because the gray is still increasing as well I believe I believe yeah the little silver part also gets <laughs> gets a little bit wider. I did three rows of the gray here. I did one increase row during those, meaning just one increase in the entire row. Now I am working on the light part of it in white. I did my circle and I did it to the four single crochet increase row. It's about this size compared to my thing. And since it, these things get bigger when they get stuffed a little bit, they'll stretch out a little bit. For my moa bong, it's kind of the shape too. I did like two different circles and then attached them in the middle. I didn't want the decrease side, but since I'm gonna cover both of the faces entirely, I don't care. Now I'm going to do in the back loops only probably three single crochet, no increase round, back loops only. So I single crocheted back loops only for this first round and then did two more rounds, no increase. And now we're gonna do the decrease rounds. So back loops only again to get it to bend over again. And we'll start with the decrease round that is the same as the increase. If you know how to make circles, it makes sense. So I was on the four single crochet increase round. So for the decrease round, I'm gonna start with four single crochet decrease and so on and so forth until there is just a little tiny hole left. Oh, but I need to stuff it before the hole is too small. Boop. We have our two main parts. Now's the time to get creative. And the only thing I could think of is I have the three colors of the swirly swirls, right? So I'm just gonna put all three of them together and make a long chain out of them with three strands at a time and hope that that creates like a cool effect. And then I'm going to just swirl the chain in the middle here. It looks good in my head. I think this is actually gonna look good. It is a kind of a cheap trick and it doesn't look like it, but it's similar enough to be like, oh yeah, that's 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 twice as candy bong. I just made this big long chain. I'm curling it up. I'm gonna use glue because I'm not very good at stitching things together. I don't know if you watched my last video. I was trying to stitch together this rose and then I watched someone on a YouTube short just freaking glue it together and I was like, oh. So I'm gonna use my hot glue gun. May as well get some use out of it. I'll glue it as I like coil this up and then I'll just glue it to this part. Oh. 
This looks like the most delicious sandwich cookie in the world. Like, I just wanna, which means it's working because it's a candy bomb. So cute. Now, the only thing we need to do to finish this is do like a white outside because, okay, first of all, this is gonna be a lot bigger than it's supposed to be, but we have the white little piece around the outside. I am all of a sudden so tired, but I have so much to do today. Ah, okay, we got our little sandwich cookie. I made this guy. It is just a long skinny rectangle as you see. I made it a couple stitches longer than the width of this just because this creates quite a bit of a ridge if you see there and I don't want it to just like be stuck inside of there exactly or I don't know looks a little awkward but it's whatever it's good <laughs> It ended up too long, but my freaking first one was too short, so I remade it. Ah, upsetting. Whatever. I'll just fold it over. It'll be the part covered by the stick thing anyway. I was scared the glue was gonna show through here, but it's looking, it's looking good. I think I'll use this to actually stitch through so that it's a little more durable. Does it need to be durable? I don't know. <laughs> Last step, stuff and connect. Okay, I don't know about you, but I think it's cute. I'm not a once, so they can give me their seal of approval if they so choose. I'm glad I went with a shorter stick because when you do the longer ones, it gets more floppy and this is like, okay. I'm not gonna try to do embroidery because I mean, I'm gonna quit while the going's good. I sewed it together with like just the back loops only so that it would have like a little bit of a ridge around it. It's in the details. Anyway, bye. <laughs> I never say goodbye. I don't know why I'm saying goodbye. <laughs>